Hello everyone. Here is Javinam Singh, the student of class six B, and I am here to talk about five kingdom classification. So, first of all, we will know that who proposed the five kingdom system of classification. So, R. S. Rita Taker in nineteen sixty nine he proposed the five kingdom classification. So, his classification was based on three points. Let me tell you what are the three points. His three points are patients or absence of nucleus, unicellular or multicellular organism, and last that is mode of nutrition. So let me talk to you about uh, five five kingdom of classification. What they are and the definition of five kingdom classification. So the five kingdom classification is Monera. Protista, fungi, platy, and animalia. So let's uh, talk about this five kingdom of classification. So now, first of all, uh, I'm going to talk about monera. Monera are the single organisms, and uh, and they are prokaryotes. Prokaryotes means it means the uh, nuclear which doesn't have a nuclear Membrane that is called prokaryote. So the uh, so the uh, monera is a prokaryote. So the uh, monera is a prokaryote. So prokaryote can survive in harsh weathers and in extreme climatic uh, in extreme climatic conditions. And in uh, prokaryote, the rigid uh, the rigid wall is present. The rigid cell wall is present, and membrane-bound cellular organisms are absent. So now let's talk about protista. What are protista? Protista is a simple eukaryote. Uh, it has it. It is having a nucleus. Uh, in mostly of protista, unicellular are mostly new. Uh, unicellular are there, and some are multicellular. And they are heteropotic, and they they mostly live in water. The example of protista is uh, diatoms, amoeba, and etc. Now let's come to the fungi. What are fungi? Okay, the uh, the kingdom of fungi uh, is eukaryote. Uh, uh, they have membrane bound. Uh, And uh, organisms fungi are also hetero heteropotic, and they are heteropotic uh, organisms because they lack chloroplast. They are lack of chloroplast. The example of it is mucor, mucor, uh, yeast, and mold. Now let's talk about plantae. What are plantae? The kingdom of plantae. Includes multicellular, eukaryote, and autopotic organisms. Means they are multicellular, eukaryote, and uh, aut um autopotic uh, organisms. All the plants can make sugar using the sun's energy. Means all the plants, um, uh, plantae almost all the plants can make the sugar with the help. With the using of sun's energy, and the plants have the ability to grow, uh, to grow by cell division. They can grow, uh, with the cell division also. And the one of the example it is moss. Moss is a plant. Now let's come to the animalia. The last point, animalia, uh, animalia is includes to eukaryotic. A multicellular and heteropotic. Around to nine to ten species, uh, animal species inhabited the earth. Means they have inhabited the earth. Of them, only eight uh, hundred large species are indefinite. And the animals are uh, made up of many organisms uh, that help in programming specific functions that are necessary. For for the survival of the animals of the organisms, and the most of the animals are primitive animals, 
and most of the animals have the ability to walk to move thank you